see a more locked in uh, effort from you guys c coming off the loss the other night against the Celtics? Uh, no, we, we definitely played um, played harder, played more together. Um, obviously, uh, I believe we believe that we're a good team, but uh, at the end of the day, we gotta you know show it out there on the court. And uh, good teams always try to bounce back after uh, loses, you know, losses like that. Um, and I think that's what the team did tonight. You know, um, we lost bad um, three days ago, two days ago. I don't remember. Uh, today we wanted to set the tone as a team. You know, move the ball, play together, uh, and just try to live with the outcome. Bud was saying a few minutes ago he thinks you're the MVP. How much does the MVP race mean to you? Um. I'm just trying to get better. I'm just trying to enjoy the game of basketball. Um, I think, you know, when you think about the MVP, it just puts pressure on yourself. Uh, just puts pressure. At the end of the day, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy where I'm, I am in life. I'm happy that God has blessed me with this talent. I'm happy that I'm able to, you know, go out there every day and chase my, you know, my dream that I have. As a little kid, and uh, try to improve and go out there and play with edge. I'm happy for my kids, happy for my brothers, my mom, significant other. You know, happy for my teammate. Like, obviously, it's a great compliment to you know finish the season and uh, be the most valuable player in the in the league. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm just happy that God, uh, you know, uh, allows me to go out there and enjoy the game of basketball. You know, if coach uh, bad things, uh, I'm the MVP, great. If not, great. Uh, we got four more games left. Got to keep playing good basketball, try to stay healthy. Um, again, try to enjoy, try to enjoy the game of basketball because you can get the MVP and you can be, you can be miserable. You know, and that's not who I am as a person. Uh, but again, it's a great compliment. You know, I was happy when I won my first two. Great compliment to be the most valuable player in the in the league. I'm happy that the last five years I'm able to uh, be in the conversation. Uh, I'm happy that I'm able to be consistent. I'm happy that I'm um, able to help my team be great. But that's the goal. That's the only goal. Try to keep having, keep putting myself in a position to help my team be great. Tonight, third quarter, Sixers try to kind of cut the deficit. I think they get it to single digits, and then end of the third quarter, 9-0 run, start of the fourth quarter run. How timely were those possessions, and what did you see from the team as a whole during that time period? Uh, the ball started, uh, started sticking more. Um, uh, started playing a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one. I think in the first half, we moved the ball, we are moving our bodies, we were setting screens, we were rolling. The guys were going downhill. Uh, I think the ball was stagnant a little bit in the third quarter. That's why they were able to come back um, to the game to eight points, seven points. I don't remember how it was, but I feel like after we started getting our rhythm, started moving the ball, made few shots, got some stops. You know, we were able to you know get that separation that we had um, in the third quarter. Hey, Giannis. Um as you approach the end of your tenth regular season now. I'm curious, how do you feel that you've grown as a leader over the last few years? I feel that I've grown as a leader. Um, it's pretty much the same. Same as the last couple of years. Uh, I haven't changed as much. Been over myself. Um, you know, try to be more vocal as much as I can. Uh, obviously, it's we have some new guys on the team. Uh, you know, try to bring them in. And you know, kind of show them what our culture is about, and that we we have a selfish culture that we try to play to win. It doesn't matter who is going at that night. We keep on feeding the ball. Like we have guys that they're able to carry the team in every given night. From Chris, from Drew, from Brooke, from Bobby, from Grayson. Uh, and I'm sorry, I'm missing some couple of guys. Um, we play a selfish basketball. Um, for me, I always I try to lead by example. Done that since my uh, my rookie year, but you know as I've got older, I'm more vocal. I try not to speak too much. I feel like guys, when you speak too much, they get tired of your voice. 
try to uh, you know uh, lead by example and try to voice my opinion when, they, when it matters. Um, just for you, you have four fouls. Bud brings you in with those two minutes left in the third quarter. How much does that trust kind of mean to you that you know sometimes if you have four, we're not going to bring you back in until the fourth quarter, but to bring you in there and, and help you kind of have that trust to go on that run? Great feeling. A great feeling if your uh, coach trusts you. Uh, you're able to go out there and you know compete without kind of second-guess yourself. Um... But yeah, I've been in that position many times. Um, I don't remember. I don't know if this year I've been fouled out. Have I been fouled out? I don't think so. So, yeah. But at the end of the day, uh, it, it depends on how I get the fouls. Like if I'm, you know, uh, they're like down fouls and I put my hands and all that, you know. And I'm in that kind of mood, you know. Obviously, coach can feel it, you know, and he pulls me out. But like, I don't think the, you know, the charge was a foul. I don't think the first charge was. Offensive foul was a foul, uh, but at the end of the day, I just gotta you know keep playing through it, uh, and um, he he understands that too. You know that's why I think he trusted me to put me back in there. Um, defensively, you guys are trying to take that pocket pass away from Harden. Um, I'm curious. There's a, a possession where it's you with both an arm and a leg out there, like kind of a Brook Lopez impression. Um, just how difficult is preparing for that pass specifically? I think you kicked another one, but just taking that away. Um, he's a great player. Um, he can read the pick and roll really well. Going to his left, he usually try to throw the pocket pass to uh, Joel or th- throw it back or throw it to the corner. And he just try to make it as difficult as you can to, you know, to, for him to make that pass. Uh, there, was t- there was times that he made the pass. There was times that we were able to get a deflection. There was times that Drew stole the ball. Sometimes I kicked the ball. I think it just gets them out of rhythm. So we knew that coming in. We were just trying to, you know, get him out of rhythm, try to make him go all the way to Brooke or to Bobby or to me and eliminate as much as we can that pocket pass to Joel. Hey, Yanis, you talked about just how unselfish you guys are as a team. Uh, with the addition of Joe and Jay and how close you guys are, how important is just having such a close, tight-knit group, especially when the playoffs sooner you guys know there's a, there's a big goal ahead? How important is that, and, and how big does it mean that this team is so close? Um, I'm very happy that the team is close. Um, it's um, it's important to be close, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, it's not only about being close, it's about you know, playing together out there on the court and you know, being being ourselves, which we've done at times. But we have to we have to be better. Um, we have to be better. We have to be better. We can. We have to keep on improving. We have four more games left. We gotta keep on watching film. We gotta keep on coming together. We gotta keep on tagging. We gotta compete together. Um, at the end of the day, I feel like the team understand that uh, when somebody's getting on you, uh, it's coming from a good place. And I've uh, been uh, in part of uh, teams that sometimes that was not the case. You know, I feel like you know when Bobby talks to me, when Brooke talks to me, when Drew or Joe, whoever is. It's like to anybody, it's coming from a good place. We want to win, we want to compete, we want to be successful. But at the end of the day, like, I, you know, the record is great, having the best uh, record in the NBA, but we got to compete. That, like, nothing is given in, in life. Um, I feel like with this close group, if we go out there to compete and um, try to earn every single possession and try to earn every single game, we're going to be in a good place. If we don't, doesn't matter if we're close or not. Uh, we're not going to be successful.